Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and let me make sure that I am connected properly. Everything's looking pretty good. Okay, so in today's live stream, we have a couple of things that we're doing. I don't think I put my apron on right. Um, and oh gosh, I'm super exhausted. I want to start by thanking all of y'all for all of the very kind birthday wishes. Thank you guys very much for that. That was really cool. Um, gosh, there's just a mess all over this table. I've been, hey Juan, hey Diane, I've been just a mess today. Um, normally, for any of you who is familiar with our schedule, normally we stay up to like three or four in the morning and then, hey Forge and Spores, hey Sandy, hey Cherry, hey JS. <laughs> uh, we usually stay up till about three or four in the morning. It's easier to keep the house cool, uh, when it's dark outside in the summer. And then we get up at around like noon or two in the afternoon, preferably. Um, to, today I woke up at eight in the morning and I went to bed at like four in the morning. If I don't get like nine hours of beauty sleep, then I get ugly quick. Like, so I'm exhausted, but, uh, all morning I've been working on a project. Y'all want to see? <laughs> hey Donna. Well, thank you. I don't know why I asked if you want to, because I'm going to show you. So I've been working, it, it's not done at all yet, but all morning I've been working on, I'd taken some of the pins out on this one, um, and actually shooting footage for this as well, but I'm working on a new headdress for sale out of our booth, um, and I figured out how to cut craft foam with our Cricut and so we cut out of like the two millimeter like the thin stuff at Hobby Lobby uh, all these Celtic knots and then I pinned them onto the horns I'd used Kimui Cosplay's horn template and foam sticks so readily to thermoplastic I really feel like foam and thermoplastic are just a match made in heaven because it's I would have to destroy the foam to pull it off so I don't have to worry about it like <clears throat> you're kind of breaking apart and so what I did is I pinned all of them in place to kind of see how we were gonna do it and then I sprayed very lightly with some white primer that way it would do the lines and then after the live stream I'm gonna put my ventilator on and or my respirator and go outside with the barge cement and that gave me the lines that I need to put the barge on and then uh oh that's stinky um and then put the barge on here and then smoosh them together. So hopefully, hopefully that'll work. But Dragon's coming up and I wanted to make some very like elaborate, hopefully expensive uh, <laughs> dresses to make, make a mama some money. Um, <laughs> oh, which by the way, thank y'all y'all who went and bought stuff from the Etsy store for my birthday. We still have a few items left, but y'all helped me have a very uh, productive birthday so thank you guys for that spirit says how are you today I'm really good spirit missed you it's been like a month since I was able to really get on the sand right on I've missed you it's good to have you back um don't get high on the residue fumes on I see you huffing this <laughs> I could use something I did make a fresh cup of coffee but I think it's still too hot to drink but yeah still too hot to drink um I just, I have like a perpetual burn on the inside of my mouth because I always am drinking stuff. Oh, thanks, Spirit. Hey, Christina. Hey, LB. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm really, I, I honestly, I'm very excited about being 31. Um, and as my birthday present, Randy had gotten us a gym membership at the local YMCA who have just recently, as far as I'm aware, gone 24 hours so that did my love walk by Randy did he sneak by behind me and I didn't notice I know oh he's a pretty kitty I love you you want to come hang out I'd love it if you would but I know you hate it when I pick you up because you're happy um what were we talking about uh yeah uh the Y went 24 hours in one of their weight rooms so last night was officially my seventh workout in a row uh, since 
August 1st. So today will be number eight. So I'm pretty excited about that. Got the guns ready for the gun show. Actually, starting to get some definition and stuff already. Beefcake. Um, really excited about that though. But I do have a couple of other projects. Who remembers pouring this? Like, last week was it? Well, get on up here, pretty girl. Come on. You know I don't love you even if you looked like a like a bucket of gravy or something. You don't have to be pretty for me to like you. Though honestly, I'd like a bucket of gravy as well. Oh, I love you too, baby. Okay, here we go. I know. There you go. Do you want to hang out with us today? She's so cute, you guys. She's full of sass and beans, though. Okay, don't, don't sniff that. Don't get high. Um, but yeah, who remembers this? Uh, ooh, ice in the coffee. That is a good idea. I like making ice cubes out of coffee. But currently, our freezers are all full of uh, tomatoes. I've got about 10 gallons, 10 gallon bags of tomatoes um, in our deep freeze right now that I need to process. Um, Susan says, just got a huge order from Pine Mountain Gems. Ooh, I'm now in chip bead overload. Noise. And now I always tell people, and this is the same excuse I gave Randy whenever I would buy like too many beads, is uh, beads don't go bad. So you can always do some extra. Okay, so let's unmold this first. Uh, and then she just jumped on the chair. Oh. She and I were having a morning meeting this morning. She was over in her, in her spot in the chair. Okay, let's see. But yeah, the table's all covered in projects today. Hey, Laura, how's it going? Oof, okay. Let's clear some spot. Now with this one, I could be using soap and water, but I'm not gonna, because I don't feel like it right now. I just have the one mold. Um, I bought my first order of resin, and the bubble mold's so excited. Ah, right on! Oh, I do love resin casting, though. And these molds are really durable. Like, I try to not, you know, abuse them. But you can, you can get in there. Like, I actually like to... Well, when it's soapier, that works. And I'm afraid I may have to use... You know, I'll just use a little bit of this. Make a mess on the table. Yep, there's my mess for the day. Because once you get that water, it is a lot more effective if there's soap in it, actually. Why do I do this? Now I've just got a mess. <laughs> hey, Lost, how's it going? Oof. Ah, oh, heck. Okay, no more being gentle with it. I just want to get it out. So here we go. Just squeezing. Just squeezing. Ah! <laughs> Good luck to you, Sparky. Ooh, there we go. And there is our resin crystal. And then we can just take this pop it right side back out again which that actually serves to clean up the outside quite a bit too where's the paper towel at? I made a mess oh here's an old one that'll work just fine okay so this one's a really nice like smooth mold but I could go through and wet dry sand um, all these little facets and try to get it to be even shinier but I'm pretty pleased with how it is. I am going to sand up the bottom. And then I'm thinking about drilling a hole in the bottom and doing an LED and like mounting it on top of something. I think that would be a lot of fun. But you can see all these bubbles. No matter how much I sand it, those have marred up the surface. So it's not going to... This isn't... Maybe like three ounces, honestly. You know, let me grab Let me grab a scale. I'll be right back. Wait, it's the future. We have stuff for this. And so 
sorry guys, Randy's usually moderating for me, but I think he's going to the bathroom. Um, so, zero out our scale. And, yeah, three ounces. Boom! Wow, good guess. Did I guess that? I think so. I'll take credit. How many grams is that? 90, around 90 grams. That's not so bad. But I really want to work on, like, pouring resin up to, like, here, maybe. And then submerging, like, a silicone plug of some sort to take up some of the space so that it would make it hollow. Uh, like, I think that would be really cool. But I'm working on it. Ooh. Oh, it was zeroed out. See? Zero. 90 grams. Do, 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 do. But yeah, I really like that. But yeah, it's um, if I had a pressure pot, I think, like a modified out pressure pot, though that whole concept just kind of uh, scares me. Ooh, that's a good idea, Sparky, using one of my crystal molds. Um, then we'd have a completely bubble-free cast, and I'm really interested in that because the bubbles really, really clouded up. Like, let's see if we can get some... Though this does look a little bit like an amethyst, maybe. So you can kind of see... Are we going to be blurry today? Yeah, we're going to be blurry. Uh, I've done glow-in-the-dark in this before. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Like, I love to do the multi, like, the glow-in-the-dark and, um, black-white reactive. Those are my favorite. Okay, so the next thing we're working on today is I need to throw some gesso onto... Let me go put this back. Ready? I left my phone noise on. Do, do, do. Thank you. Woo! Oh, I want to check that email so bad. Like a piece of amber. Ooh, yeah, Jim, that's a good idea. Holy crap. Bennett just said, oh my god, Legionnaire's disease in Atlanta Sheraton Hotel. Mm. Is that one of the ones for Dragon? I think so. Holy crap. I'm going to have to find out more about that before I start genuinely panicking. Um, if you use those small single LED lights, you can actually just put the light in the resin as it cures. Right on. Uh, I don't trust my um, LED like soldering skills quite well enough uh, yet. Though I do like the idea of maybe submerging like a few of them and having it like all come out one way. But um, whereas if I do it... Uh, yeah, okay, Randy, I just got an email about uh, Craft Along Con. Mm -hmm. I will check it. I can't not check it. I'm super excited. You want to moderate for me? No, hey, Jen, we're still here. Yeah, no, sorry, I had the camera, like, flipped around, but... Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> no, we're still here. Just high-quality entertainment, for sure. This is my Randy, everybody. He is the best. Hey, Naomi. I gotta check this email. Ah! What if? What? Oh, yeah. Well, that's Texas for you. He. Okay, guys. I'm finding out roughly how much it might cost for Craft Along Con if we went with this venue. Oh, thank you. Mm. That's why you want to Yeah. I don't understand your question, Nina. Why am I not taggable? Hmm? Beep, so boop. Why aren't I taggable when I'm like, I don't know.
I don't know how to read this. Time to get more quotes. And I don't even know what that's really... Like, it looks like they're charging us individually for, like, every single panel room. Like, you know? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Hello, Natalie. Thank you. Well, I needed to know a number, and she gave me a number, so that's really helpful. Oh, thanks you, Na thank you, Naomi. Oh, uh, yeah, it was 23,000. I'm like, <clears throat> no, I'm not doing that. Um, what is that purple roll of swirly silicone? This is actually, oh, I forgot your name, but you know who you are. Sent me a set of these rolling pins. You know who you are. <laughs> and they are awesome. These are some of the textures that, oh, thank you. These are some of the textures that will be on this month's polymer clay uh, cabochons in our craft along kits. And also, I am using them today, double duty, as the Vaughn do, uh, to do this next project that I'm about to show you guys. And Randy is moderating for us, so if you have a question for me, just do the at sign and then Yvonne Williams, and that will highlight it in red. Actually, that doesn't help you at all, does it? But I've trained myself to pick it out of the crowd. Okay, it still helps. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, oh, I'm filled with depression. It's okay, though. Everything's fine. <laughs> That's just so, like, sick expensive. Um, dang. Sounds good new quotes. Because we might, we'll figure something out. The best way out. to get a shout out is by participating in the conversation. Yeah. How do I find, there it is. Oh, Randy, do you think everything's going to be okay? Yeah. Right on. I like, think I'm just sleepy. Why are you sleepy. worrying at all? Cause I don't know, because it's like a million dollars. No, it's 230000 23000 Which is... Which my number's way lower than yours to start with. So. No, yours was way higher. Yeah, you said a million. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> ah! Finding out the uh, reality of how much it might cost to put on a uh, craft along con. If you would like a shout out, please contribute to the conversation. As the gentleman, handsome gentleman said. Okay, so. Ooh. Okay. What happened? Hey, uh oh, I'm accidentally calling you. Okay. Why would you do that? I didn't mean to, my hand touched it. Where's. Well, I had some craft sticks, I thought. Here's one. Okay, so, what I used... Huh? What are you working on now? Now, I'm throwing some gesso onto these horns, because you can see, I am really bad at doing crispy, clean lines. Um, so, what I'm going to do to start with... Let's crank this down just a little bit more so that I can see what y'all are saying, maybe. <laughs> nice Jordan um, but yeah I don't have any quick seal which thank you so much uh, Forge and S'mores for your great advice about quick seal but I didn't have any but I had this Just half gallon using resin. New, uh -huh. tips for Ooh, um, new tips for a beginner on doing resin is keep it simple to start with and small batches that way if you mess up you're not using a ton of product um, and just follow the directions. Uh, that's the part that I have the hardest time with. Is, um, you know, mixing properly. I think in one of my videos I had actually, uh, it said by volume and I did it by weight, which I guess that's mass. Um, and it all came out like gummy and weird, but, you know. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> yeah. So this is just regular acrylic gesso. It is sandable, which is pretty nice. 
but I like it as a primer as well because it can have a little bit of a tooth and texture to it. So paints stick to it really nicely. But I'm almost using it like a plastering up a wall. When I cut foam with the Cricut, I get lines from the rollers. Do you have that issue? Um, actually, uh, I moved the little... Let me glob this on here, and then I'll just show you what I do. We actually had our experience, our first experience with slime very recently. Yeah, with Maddie. That it was a lot was... of fun, but I think it was fun because we were hanging out with Maddie. Yeah. Because um, otherwise, I don't think I would have... I don't really understand the fascination with slime. I don't know. Uh, I get very similar, like, zen vibes from just mixing polymer clay. But it's all work to me. <laughs> yeah, I know, baby. But like just watching like pretty colors mix and stuff. Yeah, any suggestion on how to get the word out on my new Etsy shop? Um gosh, and that's really difficult. Um it's uh just promote as much as you can across as many platforms as you, um, mm -hmm. okay, so this is our Cricut, and, ah, it's the future, to keep from getting lines, I just move all these little guys over to the side, and it holds just fine, um, I do use my strong grip, um, cutting mats, So, okay, just a second. Getting settled in. Uh, yeah, we used the strong. Mm, man, I'm having a hard time keeping my head on straight. I'm actually going to flip this down so I can look at y'all in your eyeballs. AJ. I need coffee too, hardcore. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and shake the camera for the next 40 minutes. Also, we're not having a giveaway today because I'm super behind on shipping out giveaway stuff. And before we do any more giveaways, I need to get my ducks in a row. But yeah, this is what I've been using. <laughs> These are perfect for just kind of putting up inside the, the horn. And then I get a little bit more goo on it. And then I start. <laughs> Just plaster and that stuff on there. And then it sands down really nicely. Oh, uh, thank you. Ah, wow. Thank you, Bennett. Thank you very much. Which, party wants to tell you I'll save you money so you can buy a Craft Along Con ticket whenever we get those sorted. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but thank you, y'all's generosity. I'm constantly humbled and inspired by y'all's generosity. Like, I don't just say that stuff. Um, would a sponge brush be a little bit easier? Um, probably. Uh, possibly, but I really like being able to, like, spackle it on and then scrape with a nice, firm, straight edge. And, I don't know, like, I'm not very good about rinsing my brushes out, um, and so I hate to waste, like, if I used a sponge brush, but... Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a really good question. What's that? Is it more difficult to learn chain mail if you're left-handed? My hmm. sister and I recently learned how fresh and free in one, but my mom is really struggling with it. Any advice for a lefty? Best I can tell you is open the rings in the opposite direction. Yeah, I open up my rings like this. If you're a left-hander, open them the other way. And I think that'll help with like the angle of insertion and stuff. It's really difficult to speak because as a right-handed person, um, I'm very limited by my own perspective. But Randy's ambidextrous. Like I think he was born left-handed but was forced into right-handed functioning. Um, I do a lot of stuff with him. Yeah, he does a lot of stuff in a left-handed way. Um, so, and also maybe Google it specifically, uh, like tutorials for lefties, because 
that might be really helpful. Yeah. What and where is Craft Along Con? Craft Along Con is project at the moment. Yes, it's a brain sorry, I brain farted super hard. Um it is Randy and I's little brainchild that we are we want to put together an artisan education conference. Um that is like three days of classes and a round around the clock craft hall and all sorts of different things, but we have no idea how much this is going to cost yet, so we don't know what scale we'll be able to put it on to. Um, so we shall see. So right now we're just scoping out venues and stuff. You can sign up for our newsletter if you're interested um, in finding out more as we learn more by going to craftalongcon.com and yes, Nightbot will pop a link to you and um, you can sign up for our newsletter there, which I haven't sent out any newsletters yet because I still haven't figured out how to uh, how to do that. So I, I've got it. It was I wanted to do like a header. I didn't want it to look like a jank like noob email. Okay. Uh, I think it's important to just get it out there first. That's fair. I'll focus on that. Honestly, so much of my attention's been taken up by uh Dragon Prep and Patreon this month. Yeah. But yeah, so this is how I do my horns. Oh, costume College in California. Interesting. Do what? Craftlong Con sounds very similar to a costume college that goes on in California. We'll have to check that out. That would be really cool. Even to just like go to and stuff. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so once I get all those lines filled, because this stuff, it sands down so quickly so I don't mind gooping it on there pretty thick um and then I just said it this one has a jar that it sits in uh what is your coffee today and this is actually laughing man it's Hugh Jackman's brand of coffee they actually taste really good but uh, have you tried using a rag to apply the basics um the gesso I haven't. I feel like that might use a lot of product. I don't know. Because this looks cumbersome, but it's pretty quick and pretty easy. But hey, mind, how's it going? This stuff is really good. Um, with just some Italian cream, uh, creamer in it, right? Not gonna lie. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> like, I wouldn't mind looking like Hugh Jackman when I grow up. Yeah, so I'm just filling in spots and then scrape, which I mean, I guess technically I don't even need to scrape, but it does help me see where I need to add more. But yeah, you can see that was a really deep divot. Scoop that in there. Any more questions, Randy? No, not really. Right on. Uh, have you thought about going a little smaller with Craft One Con? Maybe just start with a large old barn type building. Then always go to bigger venues as it grows. We we're thinking about it. Um, we're considering a lot of different venues and types of like setups and things. Um, we were really interested in doing you know what we were familiar with, having it set up like a convention. Uh, because that's what Randy and I have done for so long, and we think they're a lot of fun, and I think y'all might enjoy them as well. Um, and I wanted to make it feel a little bit more like a retreat, if you guys or some of y'all might be traveling in from a far away away. Far a ways away. Um, no, far away away. Far away away. But yeah, I like it. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm shaving it. Like, I don't know, you gotta shave your horns. That's some Hellboy stuff. If you tried putting gems on the horns. Ooh, I did for my Capricorn, and that was a lot of fun. 
gave it a very wet look. Yes, it was very neat. I liked it. Those are actually the little um, faceted stones, like uh, acrylics things that um, Jim had sent. Those worked perfect for that. Now this seam, I didn't do too shabby on. Still not great, but it's better. Ah, well thank you, Elle. How have you been? I feel like I only see you once in a blue moon. <laughs> Which is okay, I just miss you. There is a reaper whose name is Dad, and with his sickle Thing bite my booty. He leaves the bed and drinks in the cups and the flowers that grow between. Seems! Um. Jim! <laughs> Speaking of sending Jim stuff, we've got one more seam. This is the hardest one to get to. Just smack that. And then shave it. <laughs> oh, lord. Get help. It is. It's everywhere. You'll notice I wore my apron today. Printed by the very cool World of Strange. Ooh, I'm on the last tip. And then we can move on to the next project, which I'm not really sure what that is. What are we doing next? Flower headbands? Well, I don't know. Next, you gotta open your mail. You didn't open them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've got, um... A little bit of mail. I, I'm not gonna do the surprise seed package. I wouldn't either. Okay. I was just talking about the one thing we did. Okay. I've been working on my monster high makeover Yeah. With his sickle feet, he leaves the bed and train in the grass. What's the goo that you're putting on the horns? This is, guess so. It is an acrylic. It says on the bottle, a thick white primer that seals, stiffens, and provides surface tooth for painting surfaces for use with acrylic, oil, Cassian, tempera, and other paint media. And then it says it again in Espanol. And then it says it again in French. Um, but yeah, and it's, I like it. It seems to be doing the trick. And what I like about it is there's like practically no smell as well. So that's good. Okay, I think I think we're all done here. I'm just gonna spread this around for the heck of it. Uh, it's not exactly a powdered clay. What's that? Gusso. Uh it could be maybe sifted up well, I mean, it says it's, yeah. it's a polymer emulsion suspended in acrylic. Whatever that means. But it does remind me a lot of like a very watered down like plaster or something. I know I said I was done, but I just like shaving it. Okay, so there's the other horn and I put it right there. Until they dry. And then I put the cap back on the bottle and I don't put the paint stick in my coffee. You sure? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby, I am pooped. Hey, Lee Baker. Ooh, Lee, really? Yeah, long time no see. Very long time. Okay. Ooh. So we've got. We've got mail. Nitpicky question, but it is pronounced like gesso? Like gesso. Mistress, that's a good question. I have no idea. I read things phonetically um, because for the longest time I read more than I spoke or was spoken to. So it's like, how is it that I would say it and they would make fun of me? They'd kind of poke fun. Documentary? Oh. Documentary? I can't remember which way is correct, but just putting the, say, gesso right on. 
a plaster of Paris. Very cool pool pro. Okay, so this one is from Mim Crow Reinhardt. Are you here, Mim? So I'm opening this. Oh, you're yeah. Oh my gosh, what's it? Oh, let's look and see. <laughs> There is a note. Oh my gosh. Read the note. I'm reading the note. Give me a minute. Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> okay. It doesn't say whether or not I can read it publicly. Um. Um, I, I'm gonna, Mim, are you here? Because I want to, I want to read it. I'm gonna read it out loud. Um, she says, hey, Yvonne. Hey, Mim. I've decided you are a crafting goddess, so I sent tribute. <laughs> oh, hey! Holy crap! Okay. Uh, <laughs> she says, I've been a little bummed lately because my application was, reje was rejected by a local art fair. Then, after I'd gotten over it, a month and a half later, they sent me an email telling me how much they rejected me. The most helpful comment was, this seems more like crafting than art. Excuse <laughs> yeah. me? Yeah. Uh, right? Right? <laughs> she said... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I watched your Are You an Artist video, and that helped me feel better, although I am still tempted to enter the art fair's chalk drawing contest and just draw a... Uh, <laughs> genitals dicks she wrote dicks um oh anyway they i tried to be pub publicly correct um anyway thank you for your show i look forward to craft a long con thanks again mim uh that's <sighs> well i already cussed once if you're a child and watching this you probably ought not to uh get help um but no it's yeah like that's bull crap Ugh. So, now, to me, making slime is a craft. Because it's like, it's a thing that you make, but there's no, like, you can't really, well, I'm not going to limit you in what you do with your life, but you don't, like, wear it, like, you can't hand it down to your children, like, you could, you could. <laughs> Please note, I am not telling you what you can and cannot do as a creative artist, but, like, resin casting, polymer clay, beading, like all of this stuff that's an artisan craft. Like it's it's where creating art with your heart and creating, you know, something tangible with your hands overlaps. So that's just it's just okay, thanks Kim. Who needs art when you can craft? Crafting started art. What wiener heads? Right, Bennett? So yeah, I'm with Bennett on this one. They're a bunch of wiener heads. Um and the good news is there are countless different arts and craft shows and different things that, <coughs> excuse me, I've said it once and I'll say it again because it's worth saying, ouch, over and over again. Um, these are beautiful. I love them. The little fish. <laughs> I love this big goldfish. That is gorgeous. And the suspension of the uh, opal flakes and stuff in it. What was it I was going to say again? God crap. I need to go back to bed. What time is it? Oh boy. Um, hey Randy, do you know what I was gonna say? Because I forgot. What were we talking about? We were just talking about art. Yeah, but what about about art? About how anything is art. Yeah. There is no definition of yeah. art because anything is art. You can literally take two views. I remember. <laughs> Thank you. Um <laughs> I'm just giving my brain, my last two brain cells, a moment to regroup. Um, thank you so much for these mims. I'm going to put them in with my uh, potted plants and they will swim in my dirt. Uh, I re it really bothers me whenever events treat their vendors like they are expendable because Okay, yeah, technically, vendors are very replaceable. If I don't pay my booth fee and sign up for your event, someone else will. Um, 
And, but also, so are events. Like, even Dragon Con. I hope they don't hear me say this. I'm not going to lie. But it's like, if we didn't do Dragon Con, there's Gen Con, like, three weeks prior. Up in Indianapolis, we'd probably do just as well. I could stay home and sit in my bathtub and twiddle my thumbs. Like, it's, you know, so, it's, yeah, it's, uh, but granted, Dragon Con treats their vendors very, very well through my experience over the past, like, six or seven years. So, that being said, it's, if you, the event is going to treat you like you're not good enough or like you're expendable, they're not good enough and they're expendable. Because truly they are. If, you, if they're looking at it through that lens, then you can be like, Bye. <laughs> so <coughs> I'm dying, y'all. Um But yeah, sorry. My little brain fart just stinks in here like brain farts. So what's in that guess up? What's in that guess? Acrylic and polymer emulsion. <laughs> um, but we do have more resin to show you guys, which I'm really excited about. Eee! And I'm going to get this turned around so y'all can see for the pronunciation note. Motif is motif. Oh my gosh. Y'all could, I'm not going to lie, y'all, uh, you could spend weeks correcting all the things that I say wrong. And it's nothing against any of y'all, but I'm just going to keep saying it wrong. Um... <laughs> The event and the patrons you garner from it are what makes an event worth it. If there are a bunch of jerks about it and you make no sales or even interest, then move on. Well said, Laura. Right? They do kind of look like candy. Now, I need to sound, sand down the, a bunch of the backs of them and stuff, but I'm really excited. Now, this one was done. I poured clear on the front, and then uh, applied to the back, like, the next day did like a uh, pearl x like half pearl x half um clear mixed into the same bottle <laughs> looking the flower right i want to electroform this one to see I, I think it's gonna have a hard time because of all the sharp edges but i just want to see and then we've got some like this one here it's kind of cloudy yeah some of those ones you did on tuesday uh-huh they are like here's one oops <laughs> well, it's this one cloudy the way that it is. Um, I would feel comfortable sending it out in a dud box, but because um, <clears throat> I was thinking about it, I don't know why I have this like perception in my mind. Like, I'm so afraid of y'all feeling like my cabs and my resin stuff are like cheap. Because it's, I don't know, in my mind, like for the longest time, I tried to stay away from using like this one. That's a dud box because it leaked but and then I thought more about it and I was like resin is not cheap it's pretty durable like I've had a piece on my front porch exposed to all of the elements for a while and it's still holding up really well <clears throat> is that why that piece is out there? yeah okay like it hasn't discolored or anything <laughs> excuse me but um yeah that one's gonna be a dutter but it's like, I don't know. I struggle as an artist with the uh, perceived value of resin sometimes. Because it is one of the more approachable crafts and stuff. But I want people to feel like they're getting what they're worth in the uh, craft along kits and stuff. Slime you can make with the recipe art is created. Right on. How do I get your craft boxes, says Tracy. We sell them on Etsy. And then I also do them through the craft along kits on Patreon, where you can go and sign up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to the craft along club on Patreon. But yeah, we go through. Now, I do think it is important to point out that we do not have. Oh, yeah, that's true, Poopal. We I don't cover the edges <clears throat> in resin. Ah, uh, thanks, Brissy. <laughs> right, Nina? Remember the great Bob Ross, happy little accidents. That's true. Aren't the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination typically in a visual form? Yarp. But, I don't know, one too many times I have run into these committees that put on 
<clears throat> these hoity-toity, like, snooty uh, craft shows. And it's like, I'm sorry, but I've been from one side of the country to the other. People are people wherever you go. It's, you, you can put on these facades and act like you're better than other people as much as you want. But at the end of the day, we're all the same. Like it or not. <laughs> So this one didn't quite come to the edge, but I don't know. I'll put it in the dud box. Better not risk it. <clears throat> yeah, I got one too many uh, messages from people who were like, I'm disenchanted, I don't like your caps. And I'm like, okay. So I'm going to be very, very straightforward about what our caps look like and everything. A friend said, no matter how many mistakes you make, means that part of you, the extra love you put into it. Aw, Susan, that's nice. <clears throat> <laughs> right? but yeah so we just go through peel them off of their tape and I look for any dog hairs or any imperfections <clears throat> but I think I had one person who was upset because I don't cover up the edges um, and I refunded them so but again I just wanted to be very straightforward with people <laughs> But, uh, I wanted to do some mermaid-themed stuff. Ooh, Jim, that's a nice idea. Using the duds as inset for a walking staff. Now, ones like these, I was interested in actually, um, mounting it somehow and trying to cab it out the way that you would a stone slab. Like, I think that'd be really neat. But I have no idea how to do that, so... that we have a replica of a fairy door that I sculpted super shiny as well as the oh the backs to the cabs well they're pretty durable I can tell you that it's just not a video to like just throw something on the ground is it <clears throat> the backs are just plain it's got a little bit of shine on it from where uh me. Yeah, I think I need to take a nap after this, Randy. Yeah. Uh, from where it was touching the pan. Is that right when I leave? Um, this it's actually a little bit clear, like purpley clear. The camera's just not picking it up on it very well. That's from a leaf mold. I was interested in. I was gonna try to sand it down a little bit thinner to like maybe half of its thickness, <clears throat> and then uh, electroform it. Kind of see how that goes. Then we have some here that are nice little like donut beads. But again, I like my donuts to have a little bit uh, more of a rounded front. And these have that flat front. But I think I'm just going to have to make some of my own uh, molds for those. And then we've got like a rose. Now and also these are unadorned acry acrylic. So just for in case some of y'all get one of these in the mail in your dud box or craft along kit or what have you oh thanks Diana. it means a lot to me like and again I, I probably put way more weight than I should into what maybe one or two people say crap I lost my black and curly. um but it's I try to listen, you know, to everybody, and I know I can't make everyone happy, but it it's something that now, since I've upped my own standards. <laughs> Are you coughing so You don't want to get sick. I don't want to be getting sick, but it's my allergies, maybe. I hope. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I need to find that acrylic. I'm still here. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just using some plain black uh, acrylic paint, like the cheapest, biggest bottle I could find. I'm going to put a bit of paper towel down. Now I would still probably 
sand this down just a little bit thinner. <clears throat> How do you get resin out of a paintbrush? Oh, I thought it was like a two paintbrushes walk into a bar or something <laughs> like. I don't know. Does it sound like you're setting it up for a joke? Don't make that face at me. Hey, Randy. I can't open this. Uh, okay, I got it. I made a mess. <laughs> I made a mess. Okay, give me a minute, guys. I'm making messes. <clears throat> so, I'm going to dip my paintbrush. Who's there? Paintbrush. <laughs> paintbrush who? And I'm actually just going to glob this, quite literally glob it, down into our acrylic rose. Or resin rose, sorry. This is acrylic paint. This probably would have been a good idea to put gloves on. Just saying, but I ain't about that life. <laughs> yeah, I don't do that here. Oh no, Randy, I made so many messes. Um, I had actually used a mold, and now I'm washing out my paintbrush, swish, 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 trying to get the paint out, and now I'm going to come back with the water in my paintbrush. Woo. Well, it's a different mold, but it was a mold like this one, is what I had used, and I'm getting some water down in there. Oh, you used some rose. Yeah. And I'm just getting this good and watery. Again, and I really feel this way, you guys. If I can do it with all the little planning and lack of foresight and just bad ideas that I do, y'all are going to do great. <laughs> and so now I'm coming through and I'm wiping off the high parts. Mm hmm Do not underestimate the power <clears throat> of antiquing something. And I haven't even really taken it. Oh my god, I'm so covered in paint. Um, when you add a little paint pigment to the mold first before adding the rest. You can. Um, I try to avoid, depending on what you're using, I try to avoid um, adding any paints or anything that have water in them. So, like, I'll use alcohol inks, but I do try to stay away from adding just, like, water-based acrylic paint because I've had it have make some of the different brands of resin bubble. Um, but this one, I did add a little bit of a purple tinge. The camera's just not picking up on it very well. Can you get black from the fish? Yeah, I'm not. Oh, no, I did. Crap. Okay, it came right off, though. <clears throat> I'm going to set these guys where they're safe from my... Destruction. But yeah, so just by having gone through, maybe we can get a little bit more water in there. Resin is very easy to drill. You just practice basic drill safety and you'll be fine. And I could have watered this down quite a bit first to start with. But again, that brings out a lot of the detail. And once that dries, it'll go nice and matte. <clears throat> and I'll actually take, once it's dry, I'll take a stiff bristle nylon brush and kind of buff off any that, um any paint that's on the higher points still and uh, we could just drill into this and do a little loop or do a glue on veil <clears throat> and I think that would be just a nice pretty little rose pendant 
So that's pretty neat. And I mean, we could have antiqued it with like a dark purple or something too. <clears throat> Possibilities are endless. Do you have to use a toaster oven to bake polymer clay or can I use a regular oven? Vanessa, more often than not, I do actually use my regular oven. It is recommended that you use a toaster oven. <coughs> yeah, uh, because if you burn it, there can be fumes and stuff. Um, I do really like that. It's very pretty when the light goes through it. Like, I don't know if you can tell. But uh, it's recommended because if you burn the polymer clay, it can make like toxic fumes and some people are very careful about that. Um, but I don't have the luxury of like, oh, that's a really big pretty butterfly. Just sec. super cool looking. You just squirrel hard. I'm sorry, what what are we talking about? I just want to go to bed. I'm so tired, you guys. There's a really pretty butterfly outside. Um, what were we talking about? <clears throat> I'm done with my today. Like, I'm so done with me. I should have gotten a solid night's sleep. I don't know what I'm doing. What were we talking about? Resin. Yeah, no, baking polymer clay. Um... I'm a little wet where my feet are so far. There we go. Uh, yeah, I, I, I have a, a toaster oven that I use for polymer clay and food um, because our big oven sometimes doesn't work. And then I use my big oven uh, for polymer clay also. Oh, um. Oh my god. Holy crap, Carol. Our baby girl was born on your birthday on the freeway. Dead give birth alone. Holy crap. <clears throat> no, I missed that. <laughs> Kim. Yeah, quite possibly. Well, it's today we're actually having a friend come over and help us, uh, Naomi, to... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, to help us get sorted for Patreon. Um... So I'm going to take a nap until he gets here and then we're going to just be busting uh, to keep working. But I do think this puppy is going to go take a nap. I am, I am puppied out, like super tired, but like squirrely. That's why they call me squirrely then. Um, yeah, there's no, there's no giveaway today. Sorry. I do think that next week I might give away this bad boy. We'll see how that goes though. <clears throat> We'll see how it looks when it's dry. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, though. I like, I really appreciate it because I know that sometimes, yeah, this is not quality entertainment, but I still appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys how this ends up coming out because we're gonna try to make about five to ten different elaborate headdresses for Dragon Con, which stresses me out just thinking about it because we've got like. Two weeks? Three weeks? I don't know. But I'm gonna go take a nap. That's for future Vaughn to worry about. She's gonna be so mad at me. Um, but yeah, I love y'all. Give yourselves a big hug from me. And until next time, you guys. Uh, we'll be doing a giveaway like regular next week, Susan. So until next time, y'all. Happy crafting. Mwah. Mm -hmm. I even missed. <laughs> Mwah. Okay, bye. <laughs>